Hi everybody, my name is Steve Cullen, editor of Total Fly Fisher. As you can see, this light's blinding us. Today I'm going to tie a very famous fly. It's Sawyer's Killer Bug, invented by the late Frank Sawyer. If ever there was a pattern it can take fish in waters, rivers, sorry, anywhere in the world, this would be it. Very simple to tie, a few key ingredients. The main one being this little bad boy here. Chadwick's 477 wool yarn, wool yarn mix. Um, it's as rare as a Mars bar in a Weight Watchers club, if you can see that. I was lucky enough to get this from a friend of mine, Dave Eggington. Cheers, Dave. Anyway, let's go ahead and tie the fly. First thing I'm going to do is I've got a B170 size 10 here. It's a nice, it's quite a long shank, it's not overly long, like a long shank hook. And I've got it in a size 10. Now, the original fly was tied with, it was like a fuse wire. I've got here a, a soft copper wire and it's quite thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quite a length of this. Because what's going to happen is I've got to get up and down the hook shank two or three times. I wouldn't advise that you do this with your tying scissors. But I've done it. So, I'm going to start at the bend of the hook leaving a little tag end. And I'm going to work my way up the hook shank and touching turns. This isn't going to look exciting in any way, shape or form. It takes a, a little while and a bit of patience. Make sure they are touching turns. If they start getting loose, just butt them all up. Like that. So, all the way up to just behind the eye of the hook shank. There you go, I've just got a little bit to play with there. Make sure we butt it up again. Plenty turns in there and what we're going to do this little tricky bit here is wind the copper wire back on itself like this so one loop over should catch and again touching turns right the way down the hook shank doesn't matter if you go over once or twice but what you don't want to do is cut into that under wire and create a space like I just did there just me rectify it now what I've done in the in the actual magazine there is I take a Pantone pen and actually colour the wire to try and get it the same colour as the original wire that Sawyer used but you didn't really have to do that. Now what I want to do is I want to go over this tag end at the end. Trixie here. Just to tie it off. So I've went up to the top of the hook shank. I've got my little tag end here. I'll take it back a couple of turns. And what I'm going to do with the, the doubled wire is I'm going to cross over the top of that and secure it create a little taper, like so, that's it, what I can do, the pliers here, let's just snip that a little bit off, like so, now that we've got that down there, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use my very edge of my, ply my scissors again. So I just need a little tag end there. And now what we're going to do is use the, the Chadwick's wheel and we're going to create the body. So take quite a healthy length. I know this stuff's worth its weight in gold but you don't want to be running out so I've probably got there 14-15 hmm, inches. And what I'm going to do is with my fingertips Catch it just behind the eye. Start winding on. That's me winding down the hook shank. Nice 
nice touching tones. Hit it on the tug end. Take a buck of a hook chunk. Touching tones. One's down, one's up. Not doing good. Without fraying anything. So you've got a nice, robust body there. I'm just going to snip that until I get end off. I'm going to tidy it up just shortly. Touch and turns. Coming out of the bend of the copper wire. One lock and turn, two lock and turns, three, four. And just to secure this, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of super glue on that. So, make sure, make sure you've just covered a little tag end, like so. One end of my scissors, just poke that down, push it up, make sure you're happy with it. Now you can see the colours of that, when it's wet, it's very much like a lot of the invertebrates that live at the bottom of the river, shrimps, your gamaris and stuff like that, but it'll also take fish that are feeding on a stonefly. Um, bait is nymphs, basically everything that swims. I'm going to add just a tiny little touch of super glue. Just on the copper wire there. Should have gone all over the place. There you have it. Simple to tie. Getting the materials is the hard bit. That's the Sawyer's killer bug. Wet. You can see colour there, nice shrimpy colour, look at that, absolutely perfect, you can see why it caught so many greylings and why it got its name the killer bug, there you go folks, hopefully I'll see you again in another series of deadly killers, until next time, take care, I'll see you soon.